Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we are again with another episode about the Hive Mining OS. But as always, before we begin, please consider subscribing to the channel and also turn on post notification. Okay, so now basically we are on the next part of the Hive Mining OS. Obviously, if you haven't watched already my previous videos from the Hive Mining OS, I invite you to do so. You have a playlist on my channel only with the Hive OS video, so you can watch them from the beginning till now. Okay, so let's sign into our account. As you can see, we, are, uh, we have our farms in here. We have our workers. We have created them. We have set them to mine. Obviously, we have learned how we can overclock uh, our graphics cards. Uh, but first, I want to tell you guys again something. I had again a, a question uh, from one of my subscribers. What are the best settings for my... Uh, RX 570 or whatever the case uh, so again guys you need to know uh, this uh, there is no such default settings for all graphics cards this means you begin in the safe way which I told you in the previous video so I invite you to uh, look at that if you haven't already and listen to it very carefully and from there you can begin to tweak out your core clock you can tweak your DPM, you can uh, tweak your voltage, you can tweak your memory clock. But basically for AMD cards and for ETH, uh, ETH hash algorithm uh, crypto coins, you are going to, uh, to be playing a lot with the memory, not much with the core or other settings. So basically you need to set uh, a certain uh, or let's say a stable uh, settings first and then from there you can begin. And my, again, my... Uh, uh, safe settings for AMD graphics car, uh, cards are begin with the 1100 on the core, DPM at default, voltage at 950 and memory clock at, at 1900. And if the uh, miner is stable, then from there you can begin cranking up the memory clock by 50 megahertz. For example, uh, from 1900 you can go to 1950, then test again if it's stable. If it is, then you can go to 2000, then 2050, 2000. Uh, 100 than 2150 I have seen some video cards especially uh, 580s with um, with uh, 8, uh, 8, gigab 8 gigabytes of RAM that can go up to 2250 megahertz but the uh, those cards are very rare but uh, very rare and the most clock uh, maximum clock which I have seen till now it's about uh, 2150 megahertz so uh, I hope uh, it is the case for you too. Okay then, with this out of the way, obviously this episode is going to be about the flashing of the cards. Uh, because this is, um, uh, this is the case when you add a new, uh, a new rig to your uh, farm. And obviously you haven't uh, flashed your graphics cards. For example, you have uh, Radeon uh, 470, 480s, 570, 580s. You always need to flash that um, these cards... In, uh, to be able to get uh, uh, to get better hash rates and the way you can do so with the hive mining os it's really easy after you have uh, hooked up your mining rig obviously after you have configured it and you can see that it is mining stable uh, but obviously not with the maximum hash rate then it's time to flash but obviously you can flash the cards uh, even before you begin doing all these things that I have talked about in the previous video. So the flashing depends uh, uh, depends on you when you want to do it. So basically you just go uh, to your farm, then go to your mining rig uh, where you have the cards you want to flash, then go to overclocking again. And in here you have flash BIOS and download BIOS. So basically that's it, it's really simple. You go in here, obviously first you download your BIOS. If you haven't already downloaded uh, the BIOS that you want to flash on your PC. So uh, basically you need to have your uh, your, flashed, uh, your flashed BIOS or let's say your modified BIOS into your PC. If you haven't your, uh, your BIOS, then you can download it from the server of the HiveOS because they have, uh, because they have um, many, many BIOSes. So for example, you want to download it from the HiveOS, you just go to download the BIOS select the GPU which you want to flash, obviously. Uh, in this case, I want to flash my third card because um, uh, 
just to show you guys but I want to flash it to original BIOS because I want to take this video card out so you select your um, graphics card obviously if you have a mining rig you are going to begin with a zero one two and so on till you flash all the um, uh, all the all the cars uh, but first sorry uh, let me uh, let me do something before uh, before you flash your basis obviously your uh, miner needs to needs not to be working or let's say I haven't tried it but uh, it's better not to uh, uh, not to to mine when you are flashing so you just go in this icon in here you click it and you click on stop miner and as you can see the miner will be stopped now the rig is idling so it's not mining it's not doing anything okay miner stopped now you go to download select your video card you want to flash in this case uh, mine is the sec uh, the second GP the third GPU or, or GPU number two click on download and as you can see in here AMD download now and in a few seconds you will see that we will download uh, the uh, the already modified BIOS for our, uh, for my graphics card or for your graphics card and as you can see in here RX 470 Radeon LPDA and the numbers here in here are all correct then you just click in here because we need to have this file on our computer obviously to to be able to flash it then you go after you have downloaded then you go to flash BIOS uh, make sure you are flashing the right GPU as you can see in here Elpida double check EDU 40 okay uh, 0 uh, 04C ROM okay it's the this one's the second GPU GPU 2 so you go to overclocking flash BIOS then obviously we're gonna choose the file which we just downloaded seconds ago uh, so let's wait a little bit till it populates okay as you can see in here these are the BIOSes uh, I have already downloaded it once uh, yesterday so I have to so you select the correct BIOS to flash you click on open then select the graphics card in here the second one obviously and you will click on upload now if for example you get uh, all let me uh, let just let just do this okay uh, command send okay as you can see AMD upload now you will see in a second that um, that we are going to get an error and I will show you just uh, uh, in a second what this error is okay ROM flashing failed so if we click in here you can see that flashing card number two flash already programmed so if you get this message in here this means that your graphics card uh, your graphic card is already flashed with the BIOS that you want to flash in it but even if you can get it to work with another BIOS then what you and you want to flash your your BIOS then you you go again to flash BIOS choose again the file which you want to flash obviously then select again the card then you click on this button in here force flashing regardless or security checking then you click on upload and then it will force flash uh, your BIOS to this card even though this uh, card is already flashed so in this case I'm going to flash as I told you my original BIOS in here because I want to remove this card okay force flashing regardless or, or security checking click on upload uh, let's wait a little bit command send and let's see now what happens if we did it without the checking of um, of, uh, of uh, what I just showed you it will not flash it it will uh, bring again this message in here ROM flashing fail but now that we have checked that now we are uh, we we should be good to go okay ROM flashing okay now reboot uh, so this means that now we need to reboot our rig to reboot our rig you just go in uh, to this button in here power actions you click on it and you have the command reboot you click command send and as you can see in here reboot now so this means that this means that our rig now is rebooted so now the rig has rebooted finally you can see that the cards are mining just fine has begun mining the first one is at 30 mega hash the second one is at 29 where they were before and if we see the third one or GPU 2 
it's at 23 mega hashes and this means that basically uh, the flashing has worked and the reason is because this card now has the the original BIOS of this video card which uh, it's not uh, tuned for mining so that's why it does 23 mega hashes but this shows us that the flashing has worked and it's really easy to do on Hive OS so uh, yeah so basically that it's uh, that's it how you flash your video cards in the Hive Mining OS basically it's really easy again you go to your farm then go to your mining rig where you have the cards which you want to flash uh, then you go to overclocking in here you have download vbios if you haven't if you have not already your biases or you can uh, just go to flash bios choose the file where you have the bios which you want to flash then choose the graphics card uh, choose the force uh, choose force flashing regardless or security checking if you are getting the wrong flashing failed and um, obviously you can flash all of the cards once and then reboot only one time so uh, yeah basically that's it i think that it's really easy to do obviously if you have any question you can ask on the comment section and i will try to help you guys so uh, yeah basically that's uh, it for today thanks very much for watching again guys and see you on the next one bye bye